Hi guys and welcome to Sons of Cain. We've actually had a request come through, so this week... We're going to be looking at doing a cane warm-up before you start using the cane, rather than jumping straight in. Okay guys, so before we even pick the cane up, it's best to get the wrist nice and supple. So with your palm up, fingers down, just gently extend. Don't force it, just gently do it. And then bring your palm up. Turn your hands face outwards, grab the fingers, pull back. And back one downwards as well. And it just gently releases the tendons here in your wrist. Don't forget guys, do both sides, because it's always good to train both hands. And then to add to that, grab your thumb and twist your hand round like a wrist lock and extend backwards and forwards, one side, then the other, just so you get nicely warmed up. And I've actually done a cane routine without warming up. The next day I had to go and have my wrist bones put back into place. So uh, I am talking from experience. Okay guys, remember we've got our cane. Put your hand on the cane, palm down, and grab your wrist with your ha other hand, and just gentle side to side rocking. We just want a little bit of movement, just to get this wrist started to get warmed up. Now Grandmaster Mark Shuey says about 20 of these. And then you come up with your other hand onto your elbow, and you just extend the motion. Never force it, go as far as you can and that's as far as you need to go. Once you've done your reps, move your hand up to your shoulder and what you'll find is you'll get greater rotation again. So you should be able to get a complete 360 with the cane. And as always, don't forget, do both sides, moving your hand up and getting that full rotation. Once you've completed that, grab the cane with both hands, about shoulder width apart, and then again, just rotating, and this will give you a different stretch. First one we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold it up at the crook end, bringing this behind your head, and I'm, what I'm doing is I'm utilizing my whole body, especially my hips, and I'm striking what would be down at the ankle, but I'm aiming for control, so if you imagine, there's a vase or something on the floor. Grandmaster Mark Shu said, imagine there's your favorite vase on the floor, or your wife's, and you're gonna strike it without hitting it. And what you'll do is build up control, speed and strength. When you're happy, you're going for 10, build it up to 20, and you're aiming for 50 reps on each side. So don't forget, train both sides. Okay, the next one, that was lower. The next one will be middle. So think about you're striking the ribs. Again, nothing's changed except the height. Swinging it, using your whole arm, and at the end you'll notice I'm using my wrist to finish the movement, rather than just my arm moving. It's my whole body, and I'm swinging, I'm gaining control and strength. Again, both sides, we are working to build up to a set 50 reps on each side. With the last part of this exercise, we're going to actually go to the upper part of the body, the head and neck. So if Chris just takes a little gently step, we're aiming from both sides of the head and the top of the head. So from this view, it's here, to here, to here. As Chris has said, the wrist is nice and flexible to the last moment. It's almost like a whip in. And again, we're doing 10, 20, 50, but both hands, just to make sure you've got both control on both sides. With the final part of this exercise, we're actually doing headshots. So again, gripping the cane, we're gonna come through to one side, over the head to the next side, to the top of the head. Keep the wrist nice and supple, nice and released. And then right at the very end, you're gonna do that snap. This is what gives you the power. And again, both sides, build up both arms equally. Right guys, we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you find it helpful. Don't forget guys, ring the bell. 
free the fear, click the subscribe button, care and sharing. Thanks for watching.